I investigated the country that legalized steroids. Sentenced to years in prison, thousands of dollars of fines, and even be considered a felon. If you were in the US, but we're in the UK, baby, and they're legal. Steroids are legal in the UK? Why? Say nothing if you're on steroids. Why are steroids legal in the UK? Who is going to classify as classic controlled substances? Oh. Oh, prescription. Hmm. A million people? Damn, that's crazy. Not Natty. Well, you know. I have four goals this weekend. He One, said, I want to talk to the gym bros, see what they have to say about the UK steroid epidemic. Two, speak to the biggest fitness influencers in the UK. Three, sp I don't think I've ever seen a UK fitness influencer in my life. How did they know I was going to type that? Mm -hmm. Joe Wicks. Why well, you got the average body? Wait, am I too deep in? Where where did where did the guy go? Did he do like calisthenics or something? He just he just like look normal. Speak to the experts who know way more than I do, because let's be real. I only know a little. And four, the final and most difficult one of them all. Jesse's hair wasn't always this dark, right? I'll find like, a steroid dealer to interview. He looks different. Behind me is a local popular bodybuilding gym. We're gonna head inside and find out the percentage of people that are not natty. So let's head in and ask them if they take roids. Are you natty? Yeah, I'm Okay, natty. one natty, one natty. Natural, natural. Let's see the bicep, show me the bicep. Oh, okay, okay. He ain't burners no way. Okay, Look at him, natty bro. or not. No, no. no. I'm about to say, bro, no, he eats beans and toast. Bro, you're not getting big like this eating beans and toast. Not natty. No, 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 no. Oh, open what? about it. Yeah, fine. Oh, really? What about it? How long have you not been natty for? Years. Years. Probably five plus years. Where are you getting it? I can't tell you that. Secrets. Yeah, yeah. Secret. Okay. Natty or not. Okay. No. Oh, he's not natty. <laughs> That's two. That's two. Natty or not. Creatine count. It's creatine count? Yeah. Is it creatine plus? Bro, no, it's just crazy, bro. Nah, he look good, bro. Nah, nah, he he's good, bro. You can tell if somebody's not natty because of their like, the ratio will be off, bro. That, like they'll have something on their body that's way bigger than everything else. He's like even. Natty or not? Natty, obviously. Look at me. Of course I'm not. Don't, but, because I mean, if you look at somebody like really most of y'all niggas in the chat were like. Y'all, either y'all right or left arm. My future YouTube again. JJ has kidnapped and fisted a seven-year-old girl who just turned seven this week. Um, that's not true, by the way. In case anybody like actually might believe that for a second, that is not true. Natty. Natty. Very natty. Are you natural or not? No. He's not. Oh. You're not. No. You're on uh the 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 supreme creatine. No, I have a little bit of testosterone. Okay, a little test, a little test. Oh. Do you know mm. that it is legal? All right. Now you see that he got one boob right here, right? How is this one all the way over here? It takes. Bro, got that Kofi Kingston chest. Hi future YouTube again, no cap JJ has kidnapped and fisted a seven year old girl who just turned seven this week, we caught it on camera. Alright, entertaining it for like half a second. Why would it matter that she just turned seven this week? Like why was that important information to add in there? It's still illegal regardless. Steroids here? I don't really give a shit, mate. I'm too old for that, so I ain't bothered. So I'll do what the f I want. So a little bit of test does me okay. Okay. So run a mill a week. This surprised me. I have to. That's still wrong. Nigga, I said seven. I've done a good amount of natty or not with Americans, and they're never this open about their use. Natural or not? 
Not true. What about you, Natty or not? No. Nope. Not Natty. No, not not. Wait, what? Oh, is he taking a test? So based on this group of people, almost 40% of members are confirmed. Why did this look like Duke? Not Natty. Try test 400, 400 milligram a week. Testosterone? Yeah. However. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. For they're all. It's hard. It's hard to tell if a person on test though. Very hesitant on telling you where they get. I'm gonna you said 17. It's still illegal work. Steroids here? I don't really give a Mate, I'm too old for that, so I ain't bothered. So I'll do what the f I want. So a little bit of test does me okay. Okay. So run a mill a week. This surprised me. I have to- that, That's still wrong. What? You gotta clip it earlier. Where are you getting this stuff? That I'm not saying. But now that we know that gear is commonly used, I want to get their opinion on if it being legal is a good or a bad thing. There's no regulation, so people could be buying anything. They might be underdosed or overdosed, so people don't know what they're taking. How long? <laughs> Bro, why he breathing so hard? You're not been natural for it. Over a year. Started last year. Do you think there's any problems with the legality of taking steroids in the UK? Very easy to get hold of as well. So yeah, there is a problem with it. Is yeah. it easy to get? Yeah. Where do you get it? I don't know, bro. You can ask half the geezers in here, and they'll tell ya. The craziest part is that these are all just like regular gym bros that are on gear. Like, they're not doing it for a living. They're just doing it because they enjoy it. But what about? Does it make you feel good using steroids? Does using steroids make you feel good? The drug me can feel powerful and energetic. However, steroids are also known to increase irritability, anxiety, and aggression, and cause mood swings, manic symptoms, and paranoia, particularly when taken at high doses. Is there like liquid steroids I could try? Can I take? What did that just say? Can I have sex with a concussion? <laughs> can I take steroids? in a liquid form. Most adults take tablets in liquid. Oh, okay. About the people I'll test it out when I'm in the UK when it's legal. People who do make money off their physiques. What do the bodybuilders guilty. have to say about steroids? My next stop was the Arnold Classic UK, where hopefully I could find some answers. Normally in the US, I'm very scared to ask people this stuff, but everybody's so open here. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm going to start off really strong. Are you natty or no? No, I'm definitely not. I'm, I'm everything. You say I'm on it. Are you natural or not? No, I'm not. I'm natural as the modified food in the supermarket. <laughs> on it. <laughs> on it. <laughs> Twice as much. He on everything. Is it easy to get PEDs in the UK? Yes. Do you know a guy? Maybe. So what's your take on the legalization of that? Damn. You think he's you think he's sticking a needle in his neck? Bollock steroids. Well, that comes down to personal use. Personal use can come in many shapes and forms. If you're responsible, they can be used very well. Yes. They should legalize steroids in the way they same way they, go, they should legalize steroids. Can be a good thing. You know, if it's gone under market, there's a lot of underground labs. What are basically selling rubbish? Do you think an underground steroid lab is an insane career field to have, bro? Could you imagine like a kid that you were growing up with in elementary school, bro? You were in kindergarten with this kid. He's gonna grow up to run an underground steroid lab, bro. That's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. I love about those kind of people, for real. Oh yeah, facts. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people, bro. That's why I hate gym videos where like people try to say like like j people in the gym are like mean or some shit and i'm like what bro no not at all man i ain't gonna lie some gym people are like the most helpful like nicest people that you'll run into man i ain't gonna lie because i mean shit they're exercising all their demons on the weights so like shit they they don't they're not mad at nobody bro i ain't gonna lie are you breaking bad Type shit. Type shit. Do you think that the legalization of steroids in the UK is good or bad? I personally I think, we think can move it's bad. Back up to the top. Because if you're not informed, you can end up doing yourself a lot of damage. I think additionally, what needs to be addressed is the stigma around steroids. Wait. 
think it's bad because if you're not informed, you can. But this reminds me of that, uh, you know that, like, cup surgery stuff? Not surgery. Massage. The cup massage stuff. Where, like, uh, you, like, get the cup massage and then, like, you got the little, like, red circles all over your back. Like. Old enough. He's, like, the same age as y'all niggas, bro. He, like, I, I'm assuming he's, like, 15. Maybe close to 16. But he's definitely, like, 15 can end up doing yourself a lot of damage. I think, additionally, what needs to be addressed is the stigma around steroid use in the UK. Quite often, healthcare professionals will be quite demonizing about it and not necessarily help the people that are going to them. Really? Yeah, yeah. They'll kind of like shoo you to the side because you're oh, on just, gear? Stop bodybuilding, stop taking steroids. Do you think that there's any chance that because it's legal, technically, that younger kids might get their hands on it easier? Yes, and as I said to my earlier quote, at the same risk of them getting hold of anything easier. It's just what drugs you get hold of. So far, just like in the US, it seemed like nobody Fair. actually recommended taking PEDs, but also was still in favor of the legalization. However, the next person that I'd interview had a slightly different opinion. All right, so I have just ran into a There's just no way, bro. Hold on, bro. It's bothering me now, bro. Like, he definitely got his hair darker now, right? Hold on. Because I got to go to, like, an older video, like... Nah, not this one. Nah, like, I'm talking older than that. Like. Bro, has his hair always been that dark? Nah, bro, there's no way. Maybe I'm just sped. I think I'm starting to come to that realization. Right, researcher. What's your name? What's your title? Dr. Alexander Colliari Turner. Most people in the United Kingdom are buying anabolic steroids that are made in underground laboratories where we don't know their purity. They could be bacterially contaminated and no one frankly knows if what it says on the vial is what it says. So is that very common in the UK? That is by far the most common way, yes. So the best academic guess is there's right now one million anabolic steroid users in the UK. Is the UK in a steroid epidemic? It could be a burgeoning health problem and there's definitely more anabolic steroid users recreationally now. So, Ezra, whenever you move to the UK, it's going to be pretty strong. Um, dang, I forgot what I was trying to say. It's going to be like a strong influence, though. You know what I'm saying? Peer pressure, you know, craziest drug on the planet. Uh, right behind clout. Um, and I would say, you know, you just got to make sure that if somebody offers you some steroids at school, bro, just say no. You know? Never gonna deserve it. Alright. Just had to make, was, just had to make sure you were locked in. Ago. So because people are very prevalent in using them in the UK, is that affecting the healthcare and, and the country of the UK? Well, it could do in the future. That's the thing. If there, if there is about a million users right now and... What do you mean it could in the future? Did they just recently do this? Don't fuck ah uh, uh, what is the what 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 was I about to type? How long has the UK legalized steroid steroids? When did steroids become legal in the UK? Nineteen seventy one. Oh yeah, bro, they good then, bro. They're good, bro. It's been since the seventies, gang. It's been over fifty years, bro. Say even only 5% of them abuse it, then there's still that's a lot of thousands of people that could have health consequences that the National Health Service is potentially going to have to be the burden. Oh, wow. I honestly never considered the consequences of steroid abuse could leave a burden on the healthcare system. I was interviewing athletes at the eval booth, and they all recommended that I speak to one man and one man only. David Crossland, a former bodybuilder who was a part of a steroid experiment, which led him to grow up to 460 pounds. This obviously came with horrible consequences, and he is now an advocate for healthy bodybuilding practices. He is an expert court witness in the steroids of UK, okay? He's basically Mr. Royd. That's what I'm gonna call you right now. Are steroids legal here? They are legal to possess, but not supply. If you can use them, but you can't sell them, or you can't give them to anybody, how are people getting it? There is no criminal activity for purchasing them. The criminal activity is on the side of the person oh. supplying them. That's such a unique way of like workaround. So it's only the person who's selling is wrong. 
So you could buy them legally. Interesting. The only one at risk is the dealer. Yes. Really? If I'm giving you a normal, let's say monthly dose, what would be like a typical amount of time or the fine that it would be? Very little, if anything at all. The cost of prosecution is not worth the social impact of what you're doing. Okay. They need to implement this in the U.S. when it comes to marijuana. You can kind of get away with it, at least like more likely to get away with. Now, I ain't no Joanna smoker or nothing, but I'm just saying like, there be people going to jail for way too long for that type of crime. And then you got people out here, R. Kelly and Diddy and, and Bill Cosby and bitches. So it's like, come on, bro. We got to start weighing out our options here, bro. Some clubs. I mean, I don't know what clubs had to do with that. You can still, uh, it's illegal in most states. Lead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you need to, like, we need to, you know what I'm saying? We need to lock in as a, uh, as a, as a country. You know what I'm saying? Bro, niggas don't die from this shit, right? That's the thing that's, like, it ain't that bad. Yeah, a lot of officers just don't know the law. They're not very experienced with it. Enforcement of, of those compounds being supplied is actually generally quite low. Okay, check this out. When I first arrived to the UK, I tried to interview officers on the topic. I'm a YouTuber and I'm making a video about the, the legalization of steroids. Let's just say their answers were mediocre at best. With stuff like that, we, we're not gonna discuss. No discussion? Okay, totally understand. I ain't gonna comment on that. Nothing on that? Okay. <laughs> I got a clue, man. All right, are you gonna, okay, you have a good day, okay? Hopefully when I interview an actual roid dealer, their answers oh, will be a bit better. Why do you think that people How did he get a hold of an actual roid dealer? In the UK are so open to talk about doing PEDs, but in America and other places, it's like taboo. We're having a growing exposure. It's desensitized people to it. The more you see it, the more you hear about it, the less sensationalistic it is. Globally, the UK has pioneered more open discussion about the subject full stop. I mean, there's more athletes here openly discussing what they do, particularly within the bodybuilding community. Yep. So the pros being open has been a step forward to say, look, I take these things, but I ain't doing that much. You don't need to be doing five grams, six grams to be a pro. You need to focus on your training and your diet. These are a secondary action. These are not the primary goal. That brought me to the next task. Interview the top fitness Fair. influencers on their taking the legalization and see how transparent they are compared to other athletes. Are you natural? I am not natural. How long have you not been natural for? I started taking gear when I was 19. I'm 27, so I'm definitely deep in the competing. Damn. But on that shit for a minute, boy. Well, God, okay. damn. Are you familiar that anabolic steroids are legal in the UK? I, I absolutely am. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing that you're not natural. I'm not natural, no. Let's see the delts. Let me just see these real quick. Dude, that's so crazy, bro. I can't even imagine a nigga in the US saying that they're not natural, bro. That literally doesn't make any sense, bro. Did you know that plugging your eyebrow is not good according to Islam? You're not allowed to do that. And I always wonder, like, why? But then I saw this video. You said plugging your eyebrow? Oh, your eyebrow? Wait. Uh, you smoke weed? Oh, yeah. Nah. Nah. Ultra's not even old enough to have a damn cigarette in the same room as him. Um. Said. Oh, pluck. You're not supposed to pluck? That shit hurt, bruh. I mean, I've had, like, hairs taken off of my, my head. Because, like, bro, oh my gosh, bruh. My ex, the Filipino one, bro, she used to, like, see gray, my gray hairs come out. I used to have gray hairs in... Uh, uh, I used to have gray hairs whenever I was in, um... Well, I've had gray hair since I was 16. So I would have gray hairs coming out of my head, right? And then she'd be like, oh, you have oh, you have gray hair right here. And I was like, yeah, 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 don't touch that. And then she'd go, boop. And I'm like, ow. Now more gray hairs are going to grow in. Like, don't touch my gray hairs. So I kind of blame her for why, like, a lot of my hair is like, oh, my God. 
<laughs> bro, it gets worse every time I see it, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it gets worse every time I see it, bro. But eyebrows, though, like, nah, I, I ain't never, I ain't never, bro, like, that, that would hurt, though, bro. Why do they be doing that? Because, like, you're yanking out, like, the hair, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you'd be fucked, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Quick, are they some natty adults or are they some unnatty adults? They're not natty, no. Not natty. No, they're not natty. Well, it's a good thing that every influencer I interviewed was open about their use. Because something Dave had mentioned was potential future law that could ruin fake natties forever. There's pressure on TikTok and other platforms to bring legislation in oh. that you are liable for prosecution if you promote a product using your physique without admitting that that physique was not made in another way, into the no social platform. Way. Yes. All the fake natties about to go to jail, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Do you think you have a responsibility? As that's fair, honestly, because that's false advertising, bro. That makes sense, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Look, bro, if you use steroids to get your uh to get your build, and you're trying to sell this fucking bottle of pre-workout, and you're like, bro, this pre-workout right here, bro. Like, bro, you get your you get your creatine in here. You get your caffeine for a long workout, and like, you also got a little bit of whey in there, bro. Brother, this is the best product, brother. But the whole time you over here fucking, like, taking your goddamn steroids and shit before the fucking video starts, and that's how you got swollen, and it's like, hey, bro, you know? Hey, that makes sense, bro. Because there's a lot of niggas doing shit like that, bro. They just making a quick bag, bro. They making a quick bag. And nothing's wrong with getting your bag, bro, but at least be a little honest about it. What is it? As someone that has a following, to be open and honest about your PED usage? Yeah, definitely, and more so me. Like, I, my full-time job is a coach and an educator. I think so. And I think there's a lot more, I don't know. I think it's better to be more authentic, bro, with your audience. Just telling them, like, just being straight up, bro. Like, if they ask you, like, bro, you want, you want steroids, bro? Like, yeah, I am. Like, I don't use a lot. I use a healthy dosage of it. Ah, uh, uh, like, you know, I think, I think there's a level of respect that goes into that, bro. Because now it's like, okay, this nigga's honest. You know what I'm saying? There isn't, like, there, now, granted, this is the internet at the end of the day. Like, it's not, it's not bad to lie sometimes. But. For the most part, you should be honest, especially when it comes to things that could easily be proven wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I've lied yet. Have I told any of y'all niggas lies? Mm. Damn, I don't think so. Not yet. They did you have a mic? Well, oh, all right. Guess I'm not answering that. False expectations can be really detrimental to other people's mental health. Being honest about it, being open about it in the right way, at least people are always going to make the decision they're going to make. But, you know, like if the right information is going out there to them, then it's their choice whether they do it right or wrong. I think obviously if you're presenting something that you are achieving and people are like, well, this guy is so God-given, it's just going to make people feel inferior. But you got to tell them the truth. So do you think that legalizing them here is a good or bad thing? Regulate it, then I think it's a good thing. And if you can get them through a doctor or, you know, not just some guy's bathtub, then I think... <laughs> <laughs> it'll make them more safe. I think there should be restraints on things that can negatively impact you for the long run. Do you think that because they're legal, it's gonna get into the younger and younger crowds? It may, hopefully not, and that if there is proper regulation, then it'll be all right. Done safely, then I don't think it's too bad. Well, I appreciate Rob's optimism. There was one person I interviewed who probably wishes they had never done steroids, and that's... Thomas Powell? I saw the Vice documentary and you were in it. What is your oh. thoughts on the UK legalizing steroids here? Uh, I think it's a bit crazy. I'm not for steroids, I'm not against. I'm very much on TRT. I will be on TRT for life, but I have also had my nipples cut off because of steroids. We need to educate. What? Wait, why? The younger generation, more than anything else. This is a time where we need to educate people. If you are thinking about it, please leave it five years, reconsider it because I promise you, in so, do, so he just has like a smooth chest? Five years time, you will probably change your mind. We had spoken with the gym bros, the influencers, and the experts on the good and the bad about the legalization of steroids. But the final opinion that I needed was that of a steroid dealer, except. I was supposed to meet with a 
literal steroid dealer. As we were walking in, I swear to God, like as we were getting out of the Uber. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it today, unfortunately. Something has come up, so I'm going to be busy for the best few hours, the next few hours. I had the whole thing set up to talk to him, really understand his point of view, and now we are at square negative 1,000. Which meant that I had to literally ask the gym staff if they knew dealers that I could interview. And surprise, surprise, they didn't. I was seriously almost ready to give up until yet another thing happened. I literally, like, I kid you not, this met him plan. right there, and I told him about the dilemma that we're in, and he goes, I got you, come with me. I've never met him. No Someone offense. vouched for him that he's a good guy. I'm putting my life, and hopefully you don't kill me. So you're telling me that you have a friend that would be open to talking about him. I feel like my camera, bro, I feel like whenever I get a cameraman, I might have Lil be my cameraman, bro. But I feel like Lil be laughing, bro. If something serious were to happen and like somebody were to actually like try to press me, I'd be like, bro, we got to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? And or like we in, we in the trenches somewhere and like we don't know our way out. This nigga Lil be playing too much though, bro. Nah, I got, never mind. I just thought about that. Nah, that's a bad idea, bro. I need a real cameraman, bro. Selling. I'll be a cameraman. Also, you're five foot five, bro. You're gonna have to hold the camera up like this, so that way, like, you know what I'm saying? We can try to. I know my way through the streets, nigga. We're not gonna be going around at your local Starbucks, bro. We're gonna be going around like, like I got a long list, a long list of things to do in different places, like. I can't even show the list, bro, because, yeah, I can't even show the list, but, like, this is a lot, bro, like, seven, seven swipes, it takes seven swipes to reach the end of the list, like, bro, like, bro, it's just straight bangers, though, in the whole, in all, in the whole list, you know what I'm saying, it's just straight bangers, bro. Fingers I'll use a there, step stool when I... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone comment below, we love Ben. If he makes this happen, I'll be amazed. So while we, we love waited ben. for the dealer to show up, I got all dressed. And yes, I realized I probably should start packing more than one suit. We made our way inside, met our guest. Can you just say, I give consent for Jesse to use this, but hide my identity? I give consent to Jesse to use this video, but hide my identity. And sat down to hear the perspective I of a said... steroid dealer. I am here with an actual steroid supplier. How long have you been doing it? Around about five years plus. I feel like you gotta blur bro's face a little bit more, but I. And why are you dealing steroids? Simply supply and demand. Would you say that you do it on a big scale or a small scale? But they already said though, it's basically like a tap on the wrist, bro. Like, he'll go to jail for probably like two weeks. Scales it just community? Just community. Yes, not big Knowing the law in the UK, it's legal to take it for personal use, but it's not yes. legal to sell, distribute, even just hand to somebody. Yes. What does that law mean to you? Not a great deal. It's like any drug law, really. It's a prime demand. I mean, if someone wants it, they're going to get it. Fair. What did you do to keep it safe for those people? Um, try and find the best quality products I can find. Okay. Um, obviously, give them the best advice. Can you grow your own steroids? You don't need steroids to build muscle. That's not what the fuck I asked, bro. Steroid at home recipe. The fact that it's dead ass, just a nigga in his fucking kitchen cooking steroids is just crazy to me, bro. Like, what, bro? Was a nasal spray steroid? Really? Dynaball, Trenbolone, Test, Anava. Okay. Advice I can give them. I want a if good have user advice. steroids. I mean, if they want it, I can get it for them. But if you want advice on chill, steroids, chill, 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 chill. I'll give you the best advice I can give. And that's probably not take it unless you want me to compete. 
So how do people find that you are the dealer? We meet and we have a conversation and the conversation goes further and they just maybe ask, can I get that? Or a friend of a friend, word of mouth. Do you think that the UK has a steroid problem right now? Yes and no, I would say. Okay. More what just happened? So the knowledge behind the usage. I think a lot of people are going, again, maybe because social media too, like I said earlier, it's being pushed more. The British industry is growing, so more, more and more people are starting to understand what it takes to take things to the extreme and gain the most of what. Do you think it's unfair that if an influencer or someone that is looked up as a positive role model purchases from you, they are looked at as a hero and you're looked at as the villain? What I do find unfair maybe is influencers pushing the wrong message maybe. I think social media has made steroids blow up, maybe like fitness scene blow up, which in turn has made steroids blow up. Thank you. I appreciate the honesty. No worries. Again. Nice to meet you, Mom. I will keep your uh, identity <laughs> classified, I promise. You got it, man. Well, there you have it. We got literally every angle and every perspective on the UK steroid epidemic and learned both the good and the bad that come with the legalization. Is it right or is it wrong? I'll let you decide. If you guys choose to. I don't think it's wrong, especially because it seems like a lot of them are smart with their usage of it. But yeah, as long as you just do your research and everything, and you understand your body and how you're going to react to it, bro. Do what you want, bro. It's your body, bro. Do what you want. Your body, your choices, bro. I'm old enough, so I'll do whatever I want. Most British thing ever. When that... When the not natty guys look natural, that's rough. Not natty guys look... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. That just means they're probably doing, like, a healthy dosage, though. They're not, like, OD in it. Up to 14 years for supplying, and you can't legally purchase it in shops. Possession not being a crime does not equate the legalization. Mm. Oh, up to 14 years for supplying? Damn, that's crazy. The fuck? Watch the 